WTF is a NFT. Artist talk with Georgia and Myri. I'm in the future, baby. It's a big change. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Hello, everybody. So many people have so many questions. We're going to look on what exactly is an NFT to understand what we can do with it. I just want to have like a, a basic knowledge, you know, to get started. It's a tool. It's a tool. You can use it. You can uh, use it in your own unique way. We start at the point to first look what is it and then you can get creative with what to do with it. Be creative. We're not going to talk much about NFT platforms. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing art and to extend uh, the possibility through knowledge about my art and creativity. That's my studio. If you want to know more about my paintings and if you want to see more uh, pictures that I am um, done picture as well, you can just like check it out my website or my Instagram page. I'm bridging the physical and the digital world. Into blockchain and NFT um, since more than a year. On my artist website, you will find photos, paintings, drawings, and I also animate my drawings. My newest baby is called Manica in Between Art Style Stories. Take a look on the website if you're interested. And here you can also subscribe to my written NFT newsletter in English and German. Probably yeah. gonna be questions more than we can answer today. A That's lifetime questions. Let's speak about NFT. It looks funny. Uh, <laughs> one thing we need to look at before. So we zoom out a bit and look at what exactly is the blockchain, what's happening there. Imagine you have a piece of paper, right? Yeah. And this piece of paper has a number and there are relevant connected um, documented. We call this hash. We collect them and store them in a, in a um, file storage, you know? The block. When this is full, we gonna lock it up and okay. make, it make it smaller and store it okay. in a place. Okay. That place is it's like a warehouse. It's called the blockchain. It's a decentralized digital warehouse where you can store stuff that is important for later, maybe. That, for okay. example, that blockchain is Bitcoin or is Ethereum. The file cabinet is the block and the warehouse is the blockchain. So it's a chain of blocks. Okay. And they all like connected to each other. Yeah. Yeah. They hang on a yeah. chain so they know they belong together in the Ethereum yeah. chain. Yeah. Okay. So if that makes sense. So the difference to an NFT now, because NFTs are not possible everywhere. Bitcoin can't do an NFT. Ethereum can do an NFT and the difference is it's like a, like a, a file holder where you can add more stuff. You know, it's not just a piece of paper. I can add stuff. NFT actually means non-fungible token, it means it can't be exchanged with the same thing. So it means if you have an money, and I have a lot of money. Uh, I can give you the money, you can give me the money. But uh, in, in this case, the money is the NFT. It's unique. So I can't exchange this money with this money because it's only existing once. You have a euro and I have a euro. Okay. So I can give you my euro and you can give me your euro and we still have the same. That's a fungible token. 
someone that can something that can be exchanged with the same it's a token technically on the ethereum uh, chain it's called an erc721 token uh, i chose for our example ethereum because this is the blockchain where at the moment the most nft files are stored let's have a look on the things we can put in First, what we can add is a file. That's uh, interesting for us artists because we can put a digital file of our work inside, right? It can be anything digital. Graphic, drawing, photo, GIF, uh, video, animation, music, a game, 3D object, but also text like a book, a poem, a post, right? I okay, could, okay. I could even take this raw recording and, and mint it as an NFT and someone could buy it. So whatever things can be an actually NFT. Everything. Like a, everything digital. Everything can enter inside. Okay. Everything. If it's digital, if it's digital, you can add the files. It's kind of the original, but it's more like a duplicate of the original because in the digital world, you will keep your source data. The second thing, and that's the real deal, is the smart contract. Okay. Okay. The smart contract is a contemporary decentralized contract. Right? It's okay. just a documentation of mutual consents and agreement that is recorded, easy accessible on the blockchain. Okay. It's like a contract. There's a field when you mint an NFT, before you mint it, it's called description. And there you can fix agreements you are making with the other person. Here you can get really creative because um, you can connect it to different things. One example to see how far you can go is um, you can sell a house, a real house, not a digital one. You can make digital photos, right? But you can write in the contract, if you buy this NFT, you do buy this house. That's in real. crazy. Okay. So it's okay. just a, a contract. You can make every other arrangement. You can you make in other contracts. Um, you can do here too. Right. Okay. The smart um, contract is um, every time you sell in something, like you do the smart contract. Well, the NFT always includes this kind of contract. If you don't write anything, um, the other one gets private usage right, rights. So yeah. it means you can you can print it, hang it on your wall. You can use it as your Facebook profile pictures. You can show it your friends and show off. Um, but here you can do uh, further agreements. Another example how this can turn out is um, there's this band called Kings of Leon. Kings of Lion? I don't even know how to pronounce that. But okay. um, what they did is like they minted three NFTs where the agreement, the descriptions included that um, the owner of this NFT becomes lifetime access to every concert they do with four tickets for the first line. That's crazy. Right? So Amazing, you, 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 you can get really creative with this. And this is also the reason some NFTs so sell for big amounts of money. That makes the picture extra special. The next thing, and that's also um, important because in the digital world, people steal, copy, paste, right click, save picture as. NFT can't, can't make this not happen, but what the NFT can give you is like when you have, when you use something, a picture or something, it gives you a simple and clear way to officially um, verify um, that you own it. It clears ownership, usage rights, copyright, you know, if you want to copyright something. Um, it's, it's legally correct to put the, the C in the cycle on something and it's copyrighted. But um, it's, it's really hard to prove that, you know. Um, yeah, of course. 
So this is also, if you mint an NFT, you have it recorded on the blockchain, which who was it, what time, and what's the content? What is all this about? It's recorded, decentralized on the blockchain, so everybody can access it. If, okay. if, if you have internet, that's one thing you need. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> of course. Drinking my soft made iced tea. Ooh, I want a cup of tea as well. Can I make a cup of tea very fast? Okay. So ownership and usage rights, for example, you could say like um, you can, if you buy this NFT, you get commercial usage rights. Right? Yeah. That's for example, yeah, there's course. a big project with the board apes. When you buy a board apes, you, ape, you have a um, commercial usage rights, not just a private one. Yeah, of course you can so use it. So these are also like smaller, smaller agreements you can do. Um, this is about your creativity, right? Wow, magic! As many so options, about this. A, a, a common contract has as many options this one has too. Loyalty. Lo uh, loyalty, that's the... Um, there's one field where you can make... Uh, the percentage? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you sell something, like every time this thing uh, is gonna be sold, is gonna be sold from like the person that actually bought it from you, you're gonna receive a percentage. You have the option to make a setting that um, if it gets resold, you get percentage of the, yeah, I saw that. the price I saw that it's been sold for. The usually um, is like between 10 and 30 percent. Yeah. Of course, you choose how well much. Yeah. There's one mm -hmm. more thing that you can add um, that's unlockable content. So that only means, you know, the file itself you see before you buy it. This content will only be accessible when Once you, you bought it, when you bought it, you know. that's crazy. Like, who wanna see? Who wanna buy something that he doesn't know what it is? Uh, the board apes, for example. In the beginning, you didn't know what, which one you buy. You buy it, and then only then it got revealed. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it can be different things. It can also be like here you put a small file, but here you could, can add something in a quality that people could pr actually print it and hang it on their wall, you know? And you okay. can also mention it in the smart contract that if you buy it and the unlockable content will be this and this and this and this and that. Okay, okay. Okay. Something like an extra. The more you add to this NFT, the more value it gets. The more value you add, the more, of course, you can charge for it. So these are the things that are inside of the NFT. You choose this, all this before, the file, the before you even NFT try to mint content. it. You you have you have your files ready. You know what you want to uh, mention in the in the description. So make the smart contract. Uh, you decide how much loyalty you maybe want or if you don't want, and if you want to add unlockable content. This you decide okay. before you. Uh, you didn't. Yeah. You create this, your profile. This you have before ready. Before you do anything, you can you create your profile this. whenever you want. But before you start to mint an NFT, you need all this anyhow. Otherwise, it just yeah, of course, ready. of course. Okay, so um, if it gets minted, there are two more things I just want to speak shortly about. In the front of this hanging file register. Um, there will be an individual token ID and it's gonna uh, record information about the creator and the transaction history. Okay. okay. 
So but if you don't have any transaction history, like uh, if it's the first, uh, no, then it's just uh, it's it got minted. But if it gets uh, sold a couple of times, it's all recorded. So this is yeah, also okay. a point with copyright ownership, usage rights. Everything gets recorded, and all this gonna be updated with every transaction it's automated you don't have to think about it it's just happening right just that okay, you know perfect this all gets recorded yeah this three options one two and three gives you so many possibilities so this is the point where you have to get creative so this is that so now we we have, let's imagine we have everything ready right and now we yeah. want to we, we want to create this nft Right, we want to get yeah. it out there. So that's called um, a mint. So this is you, Georgia. <laughs> this is an NFT marketplace. For this example, we take uh, OpenSea because it's the biggest one and it's accessible for everyone. I'm not going to get into the different marketplaces because there are so many out of there. So there's you uh, with your with your files, and <laughs> and and there's the marketplace. Um, you need. A, a wallet that mm -hmm. is usable as a browser extension. Okay. Because this is your login into the marketplace. There's no um, username or password. The wallet is your is your. This is also going to be the place where your NFT is getting stored, or your, where you have your cryptocurrencies to pay for things. Okay. For example, um, I took here MetaMask also because it's the biggest. And it's a, it's a browser extension, an add-on. And this is how you can log in into the marketplace. Okay, so now we are in the marketplace. When we now want to mint it, we send the file plus some money because it's not for free. Yes, fees. There need, there's work that needs to get done from the miners. The mining is the work, <laughs> okay. the work itself, okay? Okay, it's, mine. It's the work itself. This is what you have to pay for. Um, so it goes to the marketplace and this marketplace is connected to the blockchain. <laughs> There is a happy, fa a happy face just on the arrow to go to the marketplace from the wallet to the marketplace. Uh, no, it's like, like your user profile face. Yeah. Uh, okay. I know I'm a great artist. It's, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> this is all the expression of my art. <laughs> you can see. You just send it, you pay a fee, right? The rest is automated. Yeah. In the end, there's coming out this NFT with the files inside and the token ID and the information that you created it, right? Okay. And this is going to be connected to your wallet. That's Everything is connected to my wallet. <laughs> that wallet is really important. There's also, if you, if you open a wallet, you're going to get a key phrase and you have to protect this information like your life. Okay. Because this is the access to your wallet. It's called the key phrases, it's, uh, it's a, um, some words, and that's like your master password. Okay. Yeah. So like, it's uh, one me. of the passwords that I don't need to forget. Yeah, and never share with Probably anyone. Probably I'm gonna Never share here. with anyone. Like this is, okay. this is the I most precious thing. It. you can Because this is and this is your identity. That's your login. That's where you file your values, um, where you store your values. Okay, the wallet is really important. So um, this this process, this simple process, where you don't have to you don't have to do much. It's it's automated. You know, you just have to have the wallet. They know it's they know it's you, and um, send it, pay it. It's in your wallet. That's a mint. I mint an NFT. You did mint an NFT. So also just you created it or better, like you let it be created. You don't have to do much. It's easy. So now you have it. Maybe now you want to sell it. Let's imagine like you're here now. You are now the owner of the NFT that's connected to your wallet. And there is someone that has that me. And I also have a wallet where I log in into the marketplaces and I found your NFT and I thought like that's sick, I want that. So now I send my money to the marketplace, same thing, transaction through the blockchain. You get the money and the NFT, it's going to get um, 
connected to my wallet. Okay. Yeah, sold. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Play back and then follow this step by step, of course. So easy. It's not that complicated. The most important thing is to find someone. Want to buy. You can make auctions, fixed price. Yeah, like in real life, uh, in a digital world. It seems, uh, I think the, the, the thing that needs to be um, uh, processed, like for a person like, uh, like me that doesn't have a lot of uh, or at all <laughs> knowledge uh, about the all NFT uh, hot world and is um, is more like uh, putting a, like train your brain to pretty much do the same thing that you do it in the normal life but into another way you know because then the thing is like yeah there is like some difference like uh, of course like uh, when uh, you can put a percentage and uh, the the product that you actually sell can be like um, can give you money like through the years uh, because if you get sell again and blah 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 but there is also like a procedure that it's similar to the real world you know there is a person that sell the product there is a person that um, buy the product and there is a market where the product is you know it's just i think it's yeah. the idea of like getting into the into this space you know because yeah. it's a it's a new space it's a new way of uh of selling your arts it's a new way of uh, uh buying arts as well and i think it's just uh more the the getting used to it and that of course gain the the knowledge that make you feel more comfortable and safe yeah, that's this. That's the basics. Just let this sit now, and then maybe watch the video again. Questions? Um, you or you want me, to have? Yeah. <laughs> to find me, go in the woods. I'll be there, naked, dancing with the trees. <laughs> There's a big tree. There is always uh, um, a part of uncomfortable when you create. And if you don't feel uncomfortable, then you're not doing it in the right way. It's the same with this new tool, the NFT world, you know, it makes you feel uncomfortable. True. Um, True. But what I also want to say with the thing I, I, I did is that it's not, it's not that complicated. It just feels uncomfortable in the beginning because it's new. You know, it's like a white piece of paper and now you have to figure out what you put on that. Yeah, um, what you do. But it's, you know, it's this feeling and you just have to overcome this, go through it a little bit. And it's what's behind the door is super, so true. So true, so true. But sometimes it's also hard, like, uh, overcome the feelings, you know, so it takes oh, time. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> like we say, hey, it's easy thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's like, yeah, it's just no. overcome it. <laughs> But, yes. but yeah, for people like me, you know, like for me, safe is like the piece of paper, you know, I can touch it, you know, it's something that, like it's uh, it's this cup, you know, this yeah. cup, I can hold it in my hands, I can feel the weight but, of it. But, but one, one thing about this, like you can also say, like if you buy this NFT, you buy the original artwork, you send me your address and uh, I send it to you. Yeah, that's that's. I have a question. You also, can you, you know? can sell also the, your original. Yeah, yeah, well, concrete thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, but you don't see it on the first ta on the first uh, place. You know, like you you. I mean, you see it, but um, through a, a like a, a desktop. You know, you you don't uh, you don't see it from like in the in the real world. You know, so it can be a slightly different. Uh, you know, and it cannot be like uh, really give. Uh, how do you say? Like give. 
Like it doesn't uh, feel the same, right? It's not the it same. Doesn't, it doesn't. It yeah. doesn't. You know, like it but doesn't. Like yeah, when we I all see, have this. we all like. Yeah, when I see the picture of my painting uh, on my website, yeah, they nice, you know, like. But when I see my painting in reality, and I'm not saying this because, of course, they're my painting. I love them, my creation, yeah. my babies. But I know your paintings, yeah. and, and the, you, the thing is, they are really big, and you don't never get this feeling on the small screen. Exactly, but, exactly. But, the, yeah. the the physical size. I don't know, like, I feel like uh, we we are changing, you know, the world and the way we, we interact with each other and the way it's, this world is working, you know, which is not, change is not um, something bad, of course, but most of the time change is what gets us uh, growing, you know. Yeah. Um, it's pretty it's pretty scary and lonely this change that we're doing you know because i i'd love like a, a a room full of art and people smiling each other and sharing opinion about whatever you know picture or paintings uh, the weather I, I don't know you know like this, there, um, there is there are ways to go into this more um there's are platforms like Decentralands where you have avatars and you actually can really meet and talk people. There's like a world in between. I think it's it's never gonna be it, um, an exchange for the real world, but you know, especially now now in the times where we can. Yeah. And it's also it's it's you know it's going decentralization. Of course, it has two sides. Yeah, yeah, of um, course, everything has two sides. But um, it gives you it gives you one more option like um, you don't have to travel super far to attend to an event or something you know yeah no of course yeah. even though i love to travel super far but <laughs> yeah of course but sometimes it's easier to to just you know it's not always possible i just want to live a life of belief but be shy <laughs> eh? i go 